Hello, hello, hello. My name is Tarek. And I'm here to teach you a little bit of guitar. And I, I say this entirely, I say this truthfully that I've never thought I was ever going to be a guitar teacher at all. Um, I mean, you can ask my guitar teacher that I think I maybe did four lessons with way back that same question. He'd probably be like, yeah, I wouldn't have expected it either. But things change. People change. Here I am. Thank you all for tuning in to this, uh, to this live guitar lesson. Um, we just put out a new single called Let It Ride. We put that out with a performance video that we shot uh, about a month and a half, a few months back now. Um, obviously, we're, we're very excited about the release. It's, that performance was something that we were planning and, and sort of creatively producing with our, uh, the producer of our upcoming album, Paul Meany. Um, we wanted to do something cool in the the whole lockdown era of things, and since we can't actually play live uh, on a stage for all of you, then we figured the next best thing was to put together a really cool performance video for uh, some of the songs that we, we enjoy playing, including the new song we just put out called Let It Ride. So for those of you um, who haven't heard the song yet, I put the link to stream it on Apple Music and Spotify in the description. Also a link uh, to pick up some of our new merch items that we've got. So I'm wearing one of the t-shirts right now, brand new white tee, as well as a bandana, which uh, actually I need to get my hands on that as well. But uh, yeah, take a little peruse around the shop, see what you like. I, I've i been trying, you know, obviously with Justin as well, we're trying to, to keep putting out some content for you, um, at least so it keeps us busy, but it, it keeps you guys satisfied with what's going on with the Blue Stones. Um, as far as this new song, it was something that we were sort of like, you know, we had to keep hush hush about, but we were so eager to release it so that you could, you know, hear more of the new material and the new songs that we've we've put together. Um, and it was just finally nice to release something, you know, it was it was great. I know a lot of you ask about the upcoming album and usually I say what I always say is, you know, we we don't really have um, an album date. We don't really know when when we're going to be releasing that. Um, hopefully it's sooner rather than later, but as soon as we know, then you will all definitely know for sure. But something to look forward to, the rest of the live on display performance that you saw a clip of with the Let It Ride performance video. So speaking of the song, the whole point of the video is to teach you how to play this song. So it's actually a pretty simple song at heart, just a simple three chord, four-ish chord rock and roll song. Um, but the chords might be a little bit different to what you're you're used to. So, uh, I mean, please pardon me if you're if you're not getting it. And if you have any questions, feel free to throw it into the chat. I got the chat up here in front of me, so I'd be happy to go over anything that you might have missed or that I might have skipped over really quickly. So, the song starts. Well, there's a lead-in riff, but we'll get to that later. The actual bulk of the song is just a composition of three different chords okay so the first chord that you need to know is c sharp minor seven okay so this is played all the way up on the ninth fret so if you go all the way up to the ninth fret you almost play it as if it's a power chord okay so you're playing in the traditional power chord setting where you're barring with the index finger the entire ninth uh, fret strings but you're going to just leave your pinky hanging out there okay so it's almost like a traditional power chord but without including the pinky and that's you know, we, we get the seven from keeping our index finger down, but but that's where we get that sort of cool minor seven sound. So that's our first chord, C sharp minor seven. So and please let me know if you can hear this. Uh, if there's anything that needs to be changed, I'd be happy to switch things up for you. But there's our first chord, right? Now the next chord is. A little bit of a weird one and it's funny that I don't realize that I play things strangely until I actually learn how to teach it so the next chord is actually an E major form but it's um, it's an E which they also write as an add nine so it's this chord right here and I, I really I'm just gonna break down how I'm holding that down so playing an open E string your low E right then you've got your fourth finger on the 11th fret. You've got your index finger 
on the ninth fret up on the D string. And then finally, you've got your pinky finger up on the 11th fret again, and that would be on your G string. So, you get that nice E, E9. So it's E major 9, E add 9, whatever you want to call it. But it's also played in the same rhythm as the first chord. So we're going from C sharp major 7. So if you want to just practice going back and forth between those two chords, that way you can get the rhythm down, right? before I throw something else at you. So, C sharp major or C sharp minor 7 into an E major chord which is the E major 9 E add 9. Then you're just going to go back into a more traditional chord which is your F sharp major chord which is all the way down here. Second fret is where the index finger is lying. Traditional power chord formation with your fingers and you're going to strum that F sharp major. So we're going C sharp minor 7, E major or E add 9, down to F sharp major, back up to C sharp minor 7. And then there's a quick turnaround at the end of that sequence, and you go down to the B major 7 and back up to the C sharp major 7. And all that's doing is you're going down two frets, so you're going from the ninth down to the seventh, and you're just gonna pop it once. So you're just gonna do. So when you do a major, you wanna throw down your, your middle finger um, onto the G string, okay? And that is gonna be sitting on the G string on the eighth fret, and that's just what makes it major. Because if you were to take that off, it'd be minor, but if you throw that down, that's nice, it's major. So we're gonna try that whole sequence again. I'm gonna go really, really slow and you can follow along with me, okay? So going from the C sharp minor seven to the E major nine or E add nine to the F sharp major, which is much lower on the guitar neck. So down on your second fret. And then finally back up to the C sharp minor seven with a quick pop on the B major seven. I know, I know. I'm trying to teach you how to play the song exactly the way it's played, okay? Um, and like I say with all of these lessons that I do, if there are some more skilled guitar players out there that want to distill this information and make a much easier to follow uh, piece of sheet music, which is also available in the description, please go ahead. I want to keep this open source, if you want to call it that, okay? So we're going to try that whole sequence. So let's start it with the C sharp minor seven. That's your verse, that's the whole verse. And it's actually quite a good chunk of the chorus as well. Um, speaking of which, we can move into the chorus. Any questions so far, please let me know. Uh, throw it up in the chat. So far, I've got a couple of comments here. Uh, this is one of my favorites, which is Jay Muscoff. I don't play guitar, but I'm interested to listen anyway. Cool, yeah, you know, broaden your horizons, Jay. Uh, Santiago, thank you. Very much appreciated. Um, oh, taste the music, Tarek. Love your music. Can't wait for the lesson. Thank you so much. Um, we did put together a little playlist, actually, that uh, was inspired from Let It Ride, and it's available on Spotify as well. Um, that can be found on our Instagram. Or if you just go on Spotify and type us out, the Blue Stones, you can find the Let It Ride playlist and follow it. It's got some pretty good songs there uh, from a lot of artists that we adore. J.J. Wilde, Mo Lauda and the Humble, uh, Grandson, Ex Ambassadors, K. Flay, list goes on and on. So we were just about to start to talk about the chorus. So let's go into that. The chorus is actually going to start with your B major 7. So we hit a quick pop, quick pop on the B major 7 as part of the verse, but that's also the initial lead in for the chorus. So B major 7, down to. A major, which is one of, no, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to pick favorites. 
It's one of my favorite books. If anybody can guess what I'm drinking in the chat, um, I'll give you a little shout out. I think those of you who know me probably know what I'm, I have in this cup right here. But we'll see if you can guess it. So B major seven into the A major. That's how the chorus starts, so. I don't care about the money. And then it goes back up to the B major seven. Back to our funky little E major nine chord or the E add nine. And just to review how to play that chord, you're all the way up on the open E string to begin with. Your fourth finger or your ring finger is on your A string, which is on the 11th fret. Then you have your index finger, which is on your ninth fret on the D string. And finally, you have your pinky finger, your little finger, on the G string back on the 11th fret. And the way I like to describe it is it kind of looks like, sorry, I'm shooting everybody the finger right now, but it kind of looks like a triangle. If you can make a triangle with those three fingers, your fourth or ring, index, and your pinky, that's how you're playing. It's kind of like a mystical chord. Almost like a great wizard created it or something like that. Um, that's our E add nine. So we're doing B major seven to A. E add nine. Back to B major seven. Back home to C sharp minor seven. Okay? And that is the chorus. So. Now I don't care about the money. I know who I am. E ma A major. All my pockets are sunny. My foes are my friends. So let it ride to the moon, ride to the moon, moon. Back to B major seven. Let it ride to the moon, ride to that moon, moon. Amber, sage tea and mug. Wow, nailed it. Absolutely. A little bit of honey, but it's okay. I'll forgive that extra detail. Mm. Sage T just gets me going. Okay, so let's review the chorus. If any of you have the sheet music up, it makes it a lot easier to follow along because you're literally just going to track with the lyrics to the chords. So starting with the B major 7 to the A major. So, and that's for the I don't care about the money. And then you're going to go back up to the B major 7. And then you're going to go to the E add 9. That's the next Switch back down to the B major seven, C sharp major seven, C sharp major seven, C sharp minor seven. So think of that B sharp or that B major seven as your anchor chord for the chorus, whereas the C sharp minor seven is your anchor chord for the verses. Okay, so what I mean by anchor is like it's holding you down. You're always going to come back to it. Okay, so that's that's how the song sort of. It makes it a little bit easier when you have something solid that you can remember to go back to. So let's go through the chorus again real slow. B major 7 to A major. B major 7 to E add 9. And finally, B major 7 to C sharp minor 7. Let's go real slow. I don't care about the money. I know who I am. your chorus okay I feel like I'm complicating this but again if you have the sheet music in front of you you're good you're good okay so the only other two sections of this song are actually quite simple and they both include just a three chord or a three note turnaround so moving from that chorus goes verse two verse two is the exact same as verse one so you don't got to worry about that there then you move into a bridge or a pre-bridge, if you will. Um, and that's for the I, I let it, 
I, I let it ride. Mm -hmm. So for that section of the song, the way you play that, you're hitting the A major chord real nice and strong. Okay, so. I let it. So really three chords with that quick B major 7 turnaround that we do for the verses and the choruses. So uh, Kareem Jones, where can I find the sheet music? Should be right in the description below this video, buddy. Uh, and if it's not there, it will be posted directly after this video. Um, but it will be in the description right now, right where it says Tark teaches Let It Ride on Guitar. Click that, download it. It's an open Google Drive file, and you can open it up as a PDF. Mm. Sage tea break. Okay. So back to the bridge or the pre-bridge. We're hitting that A major chord real strong. F sharp major. C sharp minor 7. Turn around. Turn around. I let it. actual bridge you're gonna slide that index finger right up to our C sharp notes which is located on the ninth fret so you're going from the F sharp major is it a major yeah Whoa. and this is the bridge part so you're gonna start the bridge which is simply just hammer-ons and pull-offs, okay? So, starting the bridge on your C-sharp note, which is on the ninth fret, so let that ring out, okay? So, what we're doing there is going from the ninth fret with the C-sharp note, so up to the high E, and then pull-off, okay? So, you could also strum it twice if you're not really a, you know skilled at the pull-off, you can do... If your pull-off game is weak, you can strike the high E and then hit that open E, which is going to bring you back down an octave to that low E. And then what you're going to do, you're going to do a quick little crawl up the guitar. I know I call it a crawl. It's kind of weird. But you're doing open E, F sharp, D, and then C sharp. So I'm gonna go real, real slow with that again, okay? So starting on the C sharp, which is your ninth fret, up to the 12th fret with your index or your ring on the E string. And here's where we do that optional pull off or double strum where you're gonna hit the high E and then pull off to the low or you hit the high E and you strum the low, okay? So C sharp. And then you're going to do a quick E, F sharp, B, C sharp, and it starts again. Okay? Now, if you want to do it the easy way, which is, we'll call it, tar guitar playing diet or light, you can just go to the B to the C sharp, and it's okay. I won't tell anybody that you do it. It'll be our little secret. Okay? You can go... Bah, 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 bah. And let's say you want to play the song live, you want to do a cover on Instagram and tag us, which some people do and we love to repost, you can play it that way. And I won't call you out on it because I'm the one who taught you and I can only play myself. So you go from the E to a B C sharp note, which is 7th fret on the E and ninth fret on the E. Let's play that part real nice and slow. Okay, so... Like you say, you gotta let me run. Whoa, girl, if you love me, like you say, you gotta let me run. Whoa, and then at this part in the live performance, this part is is open to your improvisation. Okay, you can play a bend, which is what I do when we perform the song in that video. Um, or we go right back into the chorus. 
So when you are playing a bend, you're playing that on the ninth fret, okay? So that's where, well, I guess I should say you start on the seventh. You're playing on the D string. You start with your index finger on the seventh fret on the D string, and then your ring finger is on the ninth fret on the D string as well. Okay, so I thought it to be like on the uh, D string. You're gonna bend the shit of it. I actually don't think this guitar can handle too much of a bend. I feel like if I bend it, it's gonna break the string and or the guitar, and a peg is gonna hit me in the face. But that's where you're playing the bend, okay? And then you're right back into the chorus. So, I don't care about the money. I know who I am. Okay? So, that's Let It Ride, all right? I can do a quick little summary. I think I might have to tune up because I think I went out of tune with that bend. So that is a summary of Let It Ride, how to play it on acoustic guitar. Of course, you can add sugar to anything that I teach you. And I really do love to watch the renditions that you guys come up with on social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever you got. I mean, tag us and let me see what you got. Let's go through the song real quick, just as a quick summary. So the verse is C sharp minor seven, E major nine or E add nine. F sharp major, back to C sharp minor seven. Pop on the B major seven. So we're gonna start with the chorus now, which starts on our anchor for the chorus, which is B major seven. A major, right? So bam. back to B major seven. Bam. E add nine. B major two. C sharp seven. <sighs> Might be complicated, but I'm gonna slow it down again. So B major seven. Bam. A major. I don't care about the money. B major seven to E add nine. Then we're gonna go B major seven to C sharp minor seven, which is I know who I am. There's your chorus. And then finally, our pre-bridge, hard strumming chords on the A major. I let it. F sharp major. I let it. Back up to the B major seven. Oh, that's not right. To the C sharp minor seven. Right. A major. F sharp major. C sharp minor seven. And then finally, our bridge, which is our C sharp notes, ninth fret. Whoa. Up to the E with the pull off. Oh, God, that was a horrible. There we go. Open E note, and then the crawl, which is for your more advanced players, F sharp to B to C sharp. And for those of you who are just learning, just go from the B to the C sharp minor, okay? Or the C sharp. And there you have it. That is Let It Ride, our brand new single, taught on acoustic guitar. Um, let's get to some of these comments here, okay? We'll do a little quick Q&A session before we sign off here. So uh, we've got Jay. Let It Ride gives a good impression of how your two-person sound translates live versus studio. Cool for fans who haven't seen you in person and an interesting, less produced twist to the vibe of the new album. Absolutely. And I think, you know, both Justin and I go back and forth about whether or not we even like the idea of a music video. And we felt like we didn't just want to put out your typical, hey, new single with a new music video that's some produced story or narrative. We wanted to show you what we can't actually show you in person, which is a live performance of how we actually play this song. So, yeah, I, I'm glad that you enjoyed it, really. Um, it was very, very fun to make. A couple quick little facts about that video. Uh, my brother, Samir, directed um, the whole thing. He, Him in tandem with Paul Meany, they put together an awesome 
team, which uh, I want to thank every single time I watch the video. Uh, thank you all for putting it together in such a weird and turbulent time. Um, I will put out a disclaimer that we had to follow some pretty strict rules and regulations to make sure that everything was up to par with COVID prevention. Um, but they did such a great job that it went really, really smoothly, and I want to thank everybody on that team. Uh, but yeah, that's um, that's something that we are proud of, for sure. Now, we got another question here. What do you think about Radiohead, and what's your favorite Radiohead album? Oh my gosh. Um, I, I like Radiohead, and I'm going to leave it there. I'm not a huge Radiohead fan. I uh, like if I end up not seeing Radiohead live for the rest of my life, I would be okay with it. Like it's not like something where I was like, I need to, I need to see Radiohead. You know, it's not, it's not that. Of course, if they come, you know, if I mean that would be amazing to be included in a festival that they're playing and we'd be able to see them there. Or if they were to come close to where I live, I'd probably go and see a show. But it's not something I'm going to travel for, let's say. Um, and it's no knock to Radiohead fans. I think they're a fantastic band. It's just, I don't know, I just feel like I'm just not really a big fan because I haven't really gotten into their music. But I do enjoy the album In Rainbows. Um, Weird Fishes, Arpeggio, 15 Step. Uh, oh, what's the other one? Is it called Body Bags? I think. Some really, really awesome songs on there. My good friend Dane is a big Radiohead fan. And he would know the answers to a lot of this. I also like the Benz. I think that's a, a, a good album for sure. So uh, let's see. Dominique, when can we expect that second part of the performance? Ooh, you can expect it soon. That's what I'll say. You can expect it soon. I can't say exactly when, but you can expect it soon. Um, Evan, what kind of pedals do you use? And will there be more songs like Careless? Uh, so to answer your first question... I use a mix of pedals, um, anything from distortion and fuzz all the way to some pretty eclectic delay pedals and some pretty wild um, reverb pedals, including some effects like chorus um, and I'm trying to think of what else it would be in there, uh, like a shimmer, a shimmer pedal. So uh, one of my favorite pedals that I use is Electroharmonics Canyon pedal that's just got like a memory man delay in there. It's got a looper in there. Um, some reverb. It has the shimmer pedal. It has this weird, weird octaver. Um, I do use an octave pedal. Pedal. It's a pitchfork. I don't really crank it, and I use it sparingly. But an octave pedal is something that I, that I definitely utilize as part of the arsenal. And then just your straight up good distortion and delay pedals and reverb pedals. So Holy Grail is a reverb pedal I use for distortion. I use the Zvex Double Rock. Um, and then for delay, I use the Way Huge Aquapus, uh, which is an analog delay pedal. So that's your first question. The second question, will there be more songs like Careless? I can answer that pretty efficiently by saying yes. Um, okay, how do you guys keep up with new musics? And which are your root inspirations? So I think Spotify has a pretty amazing algorithm for finding and presenting new music that's based on what you already like. So... I use Spotify as a tool a lot, and I feel like people who are avid music listeners who also like to find new things, Spotify is kind of the streaming platform for you. Apple Music has fantastic quality. Um, I just feel like they don't really... You, there, there's something about their music search that I guess I prefer Spotify's to. Maybe I just haven't really given Apple Music a, a big shot yet, but that's how I keep up with the new stuff. Um, and then also, back in the touring days, you would tour with an indie band or you tour with a band that you just end up falling in love with and you, you find out new music that way. Uh, one of which was actually two would have been Mute Choir, which is a really awesome band from Canada, as well as uh, JJ Wild, uh, which she's an amazing artist from Canada. Her band is also awesome too. So, uh, thanks for the insight, Tarek. How many takes did the video require? A lot, a lot, because we wanted to make sure that we got it down perfectly and we didn't want to cut. We wanted to make sure that we started and finished perfectly. So it took a lot of takes. It was a very long few days. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the, with the product. Uh, let's see. What from the thumbnail of the vid you look exactly like he... he he. he I, oh my gosh. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Can somebody tell me what Vladdy's talking about? I need to know what that is. 
Uh, are you ever going to fully produce the song Criminals? I really don't know. I don't know. Uh, hey, man, I just want to come in and say I love your music. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Logan. Um, okay. Okay. I think we're probably nearing the end of this. Okay. So, again, if you got a few more questions, throw them up in the chat. I'd be happy to finish off with a few more answers for you. But thank you so much for tuning in. I, I really do love doing these. Uh, it's, it's awesome to be able to show you guys how the music is made. And then look at all these really cool videos that you end up making um, from these guitar lesson tutorials, which I think is, is so cool. So thank you for tuning into this. Again, Let It Ride is now streaming everywhere. Um, the performance video is on YouTube, which you can find just a click away. And yeah, check out our merch shop. We got these new shirts. We got some uh, new bandanas. Um, some other cool things on there that I think are worth your time. The full performance is coming very, very soon, so keep in touch with us about that. Uh, last few things. When are you touring next? I still have tickets from the canceled show. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's Every time I think back to that, I'm just like, I can't believe that that all happened. Um, we don't really know the answer to that yet. Uh, I wish we did. Uh, hopefully it's soon. I really, really, really do hope that it's it's soon. And I think that's it. Okay. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to end this stream. Please continue to chat with us on Instagram, Facebook, wherever else you like to get in touch with us. And have a good rest of your weekend.